uh, personally, I'm interested in chaos, I'm interested in complexity, I'm interested in the forms and structures that can be found within chaos and complexity. But my interest isn't an abstract one, but rather my interest is the world in which we live. But fractal geometries, well, they're a different animal altogether. They're something like the wild scribbles of a child before the press of formal education had invaded its mark. They're fragmented, they're complex, and at times really difficult to describe. Something like a snowflake. And the key to fractal forms is that irregularity repeats itself at different sizes, at different magnifications. Their apparent complexity comes from the act of, rep of iteration as forms are compounded one upon the other. These kinds of geometries, these sorts of processes are in the rhythm of life. But, you know, can you turn down the noise of the world in which we live long enough to pick up the rhythm? Well, that's part of the challenge. I see what I do, the way that I use software, and the way I use formulas as analogous to a process painter, where there's an idea, there's an understanding of some general framework in which things will happen in a certain way. It's like a watercolorist who puts down one wash and then puts down another wash right next to it. What happens between those two washes, no one can ever predict. It's chaos at work, right? I experience my art as a fragment of reality contained within a frame. I create something that is like the planet on which we're standing. Mm -hmm. And as we travel around this planet, we go from the, the tidal flats of Houston to the mountains of Colorado to the canyons of Utah. The geography varies and changes. It's always different no matter where you go. It's the same thing that's going on here. I create a planet and then I start going forward.